A singularity in simplest terms is like a cosmic glitch. It's a point where the density, temperature and gravity become so extreme that they are in fact infinite. You may wonder how can anything in this universe be infinite? That's where the singularity begins to boggle our minds. It is at this point that our understanding of physics, the rules we've believed to govern our universe, start to break down and falter. Imagine, if you will, trying to squeeze an elephant into a pinhead. Sounds impossible, right? But in the world of singularities, this is not just possible, it's the norm. That's the kind of density we're talking about here. An entire elephant's mass, compressed into a space so small, it's almost as if it doesn't exist. Now if that's not enough to warp your mind, let's talk about temperature. In a singularity, the temperature is immeasurable. It's so hot that our conventional understanding of hot simply doesn't cut it. Thinking about it is like trying to imagine a new color that doesn't exist in our spectrum. It's beyond our comprehension. And then there's gravity. In a singularity, gravity becomes a tyrant, ruling with an iron fist. It's so intense, so overpowering that nothing can escape its grasp. Not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can outrun the gravitational pull of a singularity. So what does this all mean? Essentially, a singularity is a point where our usual understanding of the universe and its laws are thrown out the window. It's a place where the rules of the game are changed, where the impossible becomes the norm, and where everything we thought we knew about the universe is turned on its head. In essence, a singularity is where our understanding of the universe and its laws crumble into an abyss of unknown. Now, imagine a cosmic vacuum cleaner that swallows everything, even light. This is a black hole and at its core lies a singularity. So what exactly is a black hole and how does it come into existence? Picture a massive star much larger than our sun, reaching the end of its life cycle. This star, having exhausted its nuclear fuel, collapses under its own gravity. As it does, it shrinks, becoming denser and denser, until it forms a tiny point with an enormous mass. This point is what we call a singularity. It's a place where the laws of physics as we understand them, cease to apply. Here, gravity is so powerful that it warps space and time, creating a bottomless pit in the fabric of the universe. Now let's consider this. You're watching water spiral down a bathtub drain. The water near the drain is sucked in swiftly while the water further away swirls more slowly. This is very similar to how a black hole operates. The area around a black hole where nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull is known as the event horizon. Think of the event horizon as the mouth of our cosmic vacuum cleaner. Everything that crosses this point is sucked in, never to return. And at the core of this all-consuming maelstrom, at the very center of the black hole, lies the singularity. It's an incredibly small, incredibly dense point where space-time curvature becomes infinite. In a sense, the singularity is the drain into which all the matter and energy sucked in by the black hole disappears. Yet despite its extreme and seemingly paradoxical nature, the singularity is a fundamental part of our understanding of the universe. It not only exists at the heart of black holes, but is also thought to have given birth to the universe itself in the Big Bang. The black hole, a monstrous cosmic entity, houses in its heart, a singularity. Time for a trip back in time, to the very beginning of everything, to the Big Bang singularity. So what's the Big Bang Theory all about? Well, it's not just a popular TV show. It's a scientific theory that posits the universe as we know it started as a singularity. A singularity, you say? Yes, exactly, a singularity an extremely dense and hot state that contained all the matter of the universe in a single point. Now if you're scratching your head thinking how can everything we see in the vast expanse of the cosmos fit into a single point, don't worry, you're not alone. It's a concept that can boggle even the brightest minds. Let's use an analogy to make this a bit more understandable. Imagine, if you will, a deflated balloon. Tiny, insignificant, all its potential locked up inside. Now think of that balloon as our universe. At the moment of the Big Bang, the balloon starts to inflate, expanding rapidly. This is a bit like the universe expanding from the singularity. The inflation of the balloon represents the rapid expansion of the universe from that tiny, dense singularity into the vast cosmos we see today. And here's where it gets even more mind-bending. That expansion, it's still happening. Just like a balloon can keep on inflating, the universe continues to expand. Astronomers and physicists have confirmed this through observations and calculations. So to recap, the Big Bang theory suggests that the universe started from a singularity, 
a point of infinite density and heat. Like a balloon being inflated, the universe expanded from this singularity, growing into the vast cosmos we see today. And believe it or not, that expansion is still ongoing. From a singularity, a point smaller than the dot at the end of this sentence, our vast universe was born, and it continues to expand even today. However, as fascinating as singularities are, they pose a paradox, don't they? There's an intriguing contradiction at the heart of these mind-bending phenomena. Singularities, these points of infinite density, are predicted by the theory of general relativity, Einstein's masterpiece that beautifully describes how massive objects warp the fabric of space-time. Yet in a twist of cosmic irony, these very singularities also signify the breakdown of the same theory. At the singularity, the curvature of space-time becomes infinite, the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply, and general relativity simply throws its metaphorical hands up in despair. So how do we reconcile this? It's like a meticulously crafted watch that tells time perfectly but inexplicably stops at noon. Well, to solve this paradox, scientists are in a quest to marry two of the most successful theories in physics. Quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, and general relativity, the science of the very large. Quantum mechanics, with its uncertainty principle, forbids anything from being squeezed into an infinitely small point. It's like it's saying, hey, there's a limit to how small you can get. This suggests that if we can successfully combine these two theories, we might be able to avoid singularities altogether. The challenge, however, is that quantum mechanics and general relativity are like two different languages describing the same universe. They have fundamentally different views of reality. It's a bit like trying to translate poetry from one language to another. You might get the gist, but the nuances can be lost. One potential solution is string theory, which posits that the fundamental constituents of reality are not particles, but tiny vibrating strings. It's a beautiful concept, but it's still in its infancy and has yet to provide definitive answers. So the singularity remains a tantalizing mystery, a question mark at the heart of our understanding of the universe. 